<laughs> we'll tell you our secret in a moment. For a variety of reasons, there are five cities in the world where people tend to live longer than average. These cities form what are called the Blue Zone, and they are Loma Linda, California, Nicoya, Costa Rica, Sardinia, Italy, Ikaria, Greece, and Okinawa, Japan. This morning, we're taking a look at the commonalities to figure out what's going on. Here to show us is registered dietitian Erica Malk. And the good news is, it's not really about those places, it's about what people are doing, and we can emulate that, right? Definitely. So it's really, actually, that's what they've done, is they've looked at all five of those, of those places to see what are the commonalities and you can see here with this food in here this we go. spread, a lot of it is found in these types of things. That is so interesting. So let's start down here at this end. We hear about the green leafy vegetables. Yes. And, you know, honestly, I think we all want to make sure that we're healthy for as long as possible mm -hmm. and that we live a good full life. And there are varieties of ways we can get these. Can you kind of take us through what sure. you brought? Sure. So we've got kale, rainbow shard, fennel, collard greens, and spinach. And what the blue zones or people who live in the, in the areas tend to do is actually eat maybe about 50% of their diet tends to be this. They have really? about a cup with almost every meal. So are they eating it in salads? Are they cooking it? Why oh. are they eating so much? What's going on in Loma Linda? <laughs> <laughs> well, Loma Linda is mainly because they do follow a primarily vegetarian diet. But for example, in Greece, it grows along all of the hillsides. So they're, you know, foresting and harvesting all of these different types of greens. And so they naturally, it. yeah. And, and they put them in other things, right? Sometimes I think we go, well, that doesn't look very appetizing, but they go into soups and stews and all kinds of things. Exactly, that yeah. That we could learn It's from. not just always salads, because I don't think they would be able to eat salads all day long just like we can't. No, so that's a good way to think about those. Tell me about what you've got here. So I brought some lemons <clears throat> because actually the um, a lot of the cultures or a lot of the blue zones eat lemons actually the entire piece you know from the rind to the inside which is what? high in vitamin C a lot of antioxidants. They eat the whole they eat the skin. They're not they like everything? an apple but they use it throughout with lots of different okay. cooking and things like that. So lots of zesting. Exactly and, yeah right, and actually I'm... this recipe that I brought here will mm. zest them on that at the end. That looks so good. Um, sweet potatoes, fruit, and vegetables. So one big thing with the Blue Zones is that it's actually about 95% plants. Um, anytime that there's meat, really it's only maybe five to seven times a month. So that's really why there's so many different plants and grains here. And it's extremely high in carbohydrates. Most Blue Zoners eat about 50 to 80% of carbohydrates. Okay, and most of the rest of us are trying to get carbs out. Exactly. So what, what yeah. can we learn from that? So a lot of it is the type of carbohydrates. So you can see we've got sweet potatoes, we've got pears, we've got apples, we've got a lot of grains that have mm -hmm. fiber. And that's really the key thing. So and when you're thinking carbohydrates, it's whole grain bread, it's um, steel cut oats, it's barley, it's brown rice. It's really the things that are heartier. Kind and of. we don't eat enough fiber, right, normally? No, we really don't. No, most Americans tend to eat about maybe 10 to 15 grams a day, and really the recommendation is 25 to 35. Wow, so we need to double up, We really do, yeah. And, and a lot of these are great ways to do that. Now, you mentioned onions. There's also a bulb of garlic there. Is that also something that we should be incorporating? Because I'm all in favor of that. <laughs> it is. So those are considered alliums, and they actually have a lot of strong antioxidants as well, which really help support the immune system potentially, and also really help support you know, fighting cancer, those types of things. So maybe it really does keep colds away if it boosts your immune system. I think there's a reason it's in a lot of chicken soups and things That's like it. that. <laughs> Absolutely. So you have um, some herbs. Tell me a little bit about yes. what's in, in this area. So spice tends to be some things as well as some of the different herbs. One thing with a lot of blue zoners is that it seems like the herbs are kind of almost like a medicinal cabinet. Mm -hmm. The way that they use them, the way that they put them on lots of different things, not only does it give it a lot more flavor, and we tend to eat a little bit less when it has more flavor, mm -hmm. when we're enjoying it more but it also has a lot of benefits for the gut it's had a lot has a lot of benefits for us from the health standpoint so what in particular do you have here like so I've got, got rosemary, rosemary and this is for this one white bean recipe here mm -hmm. which is the major reason there you could also use sage which I heard earlier today um, is supposed to Reduces help with stress exactly just to <laughs> smell it so you can smell it yes. and eat it if you want to um, and, and then you've got some nuts here as well so nuts is a huge component of the blue zone diet if there was four key things it would be greens grains beans and then nuts okay we can remember that and you've got all kinds of nuts here I know people tend to go with almonds mm -hmm. Um, because they might not be as caloric, is that the Potentially, the I issue? think it's because they're actually pretty easy. <laughs> Can I just have a walnut yes, while we're here? Yes, please do. But, but so let's talk about um, 
portions for nuts? So, so portions for nuts, I would say, you know, obviously hunger and fullness is going to be a big thing. If you're hungry, one small portion is not going to be enough. But normally you're aiming for about a portion that fits in the palm of your hand, mm -hmm. about one to two ounces. But again, it's really, actually, it seems like most people in the blue zone areas eat about two handfuls of that a day. Isn't that something? Mm -hmm. They put it in other things? Or yeah, they, they put it, it in other things. Yeah, okay. so like so this stew, for example, to... has some almonds in it. And then here are lentils and beans. Which, again, if you're trying to follow a low-carb diet, mm -hmm. you've probably eliminated those. Definitely. Yeah, I mean, I would actually say that the Blue Zone diet almost seems to be the exact opposite. A lot of low-carb diets, like wow. keto diets, paleo yeah. diets, this yeah, yeah. is really almost the exact opposite and shows that it increases lifespan. It, it improves longevity. So really, you know, a low-carb diet, you would eliminate probably 95% of this table. No kidding, yeah. It would be a I'm challenge. Like, oh. But also, look at all the fiber on this table, and beans are a great example of that. Mm -hmm. So kidney beans, I've got white beans, and you know, you might have also heard of cannellini beans, great northern right. beans, they all tend to be in the same family, similar tastes. So all of those are fine too? Basically, yes. Because the then, great northerns are so good in stews they and whatnot, are. I Well, love that's why them. I love them, is because they, they take on flavors of whatever you add to it. Absolutely. And then black beans and tofu, and especially in Okinawa, the tofu is huge. I mean, that's something that they tend to eat almost every day in addition to the rice. And that's something we can learn about, a, you know, if we don't know how to eat tofu, there's lots of spiced tofu that's really good. Now, let's talk about red wine, and I think <laughs> is coffee? Over yes, here? it Tell is. Me about this. So the four main beverages of anyone in the Blue Zone diet tends to be water, tea, coffee, and then red wine. Mm -hmm. And really, they don't tend to drink juices or sodas or things outside of that. It's really those types of things, which both the coffee and the green tea, actually, and the wine also all have antioxidants. But you had, and this is what we were talking about when we came into the <laughs> segment that blew my mind, I don't drink red wine because right. it's a trigger for me for migraines. Some people have sensitivities to mm -hmm. red wine, but you told me. Yes, that whiskey also has antioxidants. What? <laughs> so is it going to be the same amount as red wine? No. Because it's really just what just is in the skin. Drink a little more, and then you get <laughs> exactly. Is that the, the nutritionist so, recommendation? So you know, if we think about the blue zones, actually, red wine grapes don't grow everywhere in those zones. So some of them do have a little barley wine, or a little mm -hmm. whiskey, or a little mugwort, you know, cognac, things like that. Interesting. Because that is they have so a lot of the same benefits. Cognac counts too. Cognac counts. I am too. a double winner today. <laughs> and then you have a recipe, a couple of recipes here. Just tell me quickly why it's important to maybe mix some of these things sure. up so that you get enough of all the things. So these you are want. two potential recipes you could make if you had one can. Of beans. Wow. Um, and so this one uses some of the nice hearty grains. This mm -hmm. is with garlic and spinach and a little bit of lemon uh, okay. juice. Nice. And it'll just zest a that little bit of so lemon good. on top of that just to make sure that it's got really some more of that vitamin C and some more of those health benefits in there. And then this is a stew with fennel and onion and then some of the white beans and tomatoes and then almonds and parsley. Simple as that. And they're super healthy. Yes. And perfect Thank for this you. time of year. Actually. So we can blue zone our own house if we want to. Thank you so much. Thank you. Up next, we're going to see why a fat transfer procedure could be an answer for people who want to add a little volume to other areas of their body. More after this.